Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. So today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things in the world. We're talking about coffee today, guys. And not only that, but I wanted to really do this video for a couple of reasons. Because the the company that I chose today, it, it spoke to my heart. And so I really wanted to do something good. I wanted coffee, but I also wanted to do something really good. And so I chose a company called Rough Roasters Coffee Company. They are out of Westchester, New York, my hometown of New York. And so the reason I chose them was because 20% of their profits goes towards helping dogs in shelters. And being a dog dad of three, that really spoke to my heart. You know, I really wanted to do something good. And uh, yeah, I wanted to support any kind of, you know, dog shelter type of charity that... Uh, I could. I, I really felt like it was something that I wanted to do, and uh, I wanted to try out some new coffee. So today, like I'm saying, we're talking about Rough Roasters Coffee, guys. So, let's start with their Morning Stretch Breakfast Blend. So, I did write down all their different roasts. I wrote down all the prices for these. So let's go over all of those. So the morning stretch, which I think is a really cute name, so is a breakfast blend. It is all ground coffee. So this one is an origin of Peru, and I'm gonna butcher this. So please don't tear me up for the you know butchering of this. Is Yurga Chef, I think. I don't know, you guys tell me, what is that, why, you know, name, stand, I don't know, what does that say? Your 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 chef? I don't know. Um, it is a lively and lighter roast with a crisp finish and subtle sweetness. So, I enjoy that roast. It is a light roast. That is, yes, a morning stretch is a light roast. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy it. So we're going to move on to what I'm drinking today. Camp Out. This is their s'mores flavored coffee. So Camp Out is a medium to light roast. It is toasted marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers. These are all 12-ounce bags, by the way. So yeah, a 12 ounce bag will run you about $16.95. The variety pack of the three that I purchased are $45.95. Not bad, because I mean, really, if you go to any grocery store and you're still going to buy a 12 ounce bag, it can seriously be anywhere from 15 to 18 or 19 dollars just for that size of a bag and so three of these sure it's like a right on market average no no issue there um, they do offer a 12 pack of coffee pods it's for like a Keurig machine and that'll run you 1450 so yeah really good stuff and then the last one that I bought is the Kaya Bean. This is their high voltage coffee. So right here, this is the main one that I drink. It is also a uh, medium roast coffee. So this is Arabica and Robusta. A smooth brew with a hint of sweetness that packs a punch. So one thing that I do wish that they had, and you guys know how I drink my coffee. I drink it completely black. Um, 
I really do wish that they had a dark roast coffee. I would absolutely be buying that more often. And so, I again, I, I chose this company mainly because I enjoy their mission. I love dogs. I have always grown up with dogs. And so, therefore, I, I wanted to really mainly support a, a very good company. I was looking to buy coffee, happened to find these guys. They were out of my old home state. And so I felt like it was just something that I really wanted to do. And, and yeah, I, I couldn't be happier with the outcome of my purchases, with the, you know, company in general. I've spoken with them a few times now, so they do know I'm doing this review. And yeah, if you guys are looking, you know, to try some new coffee, really great coffee, by the way, it's all super smooth. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm drinking the s'mores this morning. I will say I, I wish it's, it, it tasted more like s'mores up front. You do, after a little while, like get like an aftertaste of it. But I do wish it was like right instantly up front. Like you're like, whoa. Um, but anyways, it's really great coffee. Super smooth. Nothing harsh about it. And if you guys are looking to also, you know, do something really good with your money as far as helping a possible, you know, charitable company, look no further. I love the fact that they give 20% of their profits to helping dogs in shelters. So if you guys are dog people and you love coffee, I would highly recommend checking out Rough Roasters. But yeah, so yeah, that's my video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have ever tried Rough Roasters. If not, please feel free to, you know, try them out. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.